So we getting ready to break down this load. This load paid $4,086. The fuel surcharge for the load was $498.56. What is up, Slime Pat Pat Nation? Currently, I am still in Springfield, Missouri here at the Springfield Terminal. I got my little maintenance work done last night and I just decided to go ahead and finish out my 10 hour break because I only had like four hours left on my dry clock. So I just finished it out. Like I said in other videos, I got more than enough time on this load. I'm thinking I'm gonna drop this load off tomorrow around maybe eight or nine in the morning. But I gotta hurry up and get up out of here because I already see little snow flurries falling. Um, I didn't look at the traffic and the road conditions on my route to this 90, which is the drop off location. And I should be good. I'm praying that I'm good. And we're gonna deliver this load safely and you know, a little bit early in on time but this load it don't have an exact appointment time i got an open window from 12 a.m tonight all the way to 11 59 p.m tomorrow so it's not no rush because today is a sunday well tomorrow it will be sunday and more than likely i won't get another load until monday but if i do get a load sunday then i'm cool with that but um right now i'm getting ready to go into the company store I need to get my little rewards I got. I think a jacket, a hat, some other stuff that you get whenever you complete, you know, your first year with Prime. I'm gonna go pick that up. If I see some other stuff in there I like, I'm gonna get it if the price is right. Um, grab me a cup of coffee and then maybe get a truck wash if the line ain't long, but I don't even think it's, I should get a truck wash because they may have salt and stuff on the road. And that's going to be pointless. So, yeah. We're getting ready to go inside this terminal. And do what I just said. So, make sure y'all like this video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed. And let's go. Yeah, I'm parked beside a 2025 brake liner. Oh, it's about like 20-something degrees out here. So throughout this video, I will be breaking down everything with this load because I got some good feedback from another video I did where I broke down fuel, how many miles, how much it was, how much the pay was per mile. So I may break that down in this video. Well, I am, if I remember. So yeah, how much the load pay, how many miles, basically how much it was a mile, uh, the expenses, which is fuel, and talk about the truck payment so yeah y'all come along with me 
enjoy this ride and let's talk a little bit of business even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never answered a no man i still go 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 hustle out hustle every single day i'll be making moves till i'm buried Shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You never hear me fish, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything
truck people. I think that'll be dope. Y'all think it'll get copyrighted? Y'all think they'll try to sue us? If somebody or me was to create something called truckies. So yeah, y'all comment down below what y'all think about having us a truckies, the truck version of a buggies. I have it looking like a mini mall, have it like a, a little Walmart supermarket in there. Dining, restaurants, um, other places you can shop at. I just have it like a, a trucker's mini mall. No four wheelers. Only people that work there. That's it. And that's all. And of course, free parking for everybody. So we getting ready to break down this load. So first we're gonna begin with, I picked this load up in Laredo, Texas, and it was delivering to Winnersville, Ohio. It was a dropping hook at pickup and a dropping hook at the drop off. Um, the total miles for this load was 1,605 miles. This load paid $4,086. The fuel surcharge for the load was $498.56. The reefer fuel surcharge was $61.32, which brought the line haul to $3,526.12. So I ended up spending a total of $522 on fuel for this load. I was on this load from Wednesday all the way until Sunday. Um, there was no way that I could drop it early because it was a Walmart load. So since the total miles was 1,605 miles, that brought the total of $2.54 a mile. So how much did I pocket from this load? This load paid $4,086. The fuel was $522, which brought the total cost down to $3,565 to my pocket. Now, this was the first load of the week so we're gonna go ahead and subtract truck payment um apu all that other stuff i kind of averaged that up to be like 1560 that's a little more than what it actually is but just to play it safe it's gonna be 1560. so now that puts me at a total of two thousand dollars and i still have i still probably get in about three more loads and that's going to add on to that So this whole trip was perfect. I mean, everything was perfect. Land was perfect the whole way through until my last 50 miles. Y'all, it took me a total of almost two hours to complete 50 miles because GPS took me off of 70 East to get on, um, I think it was Highway 22, if I'm not mistaken. Y'all can see the map right there and man it was just going around 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 mountains and through all these small country towns and the most speed that i could keep up with was nothing more than 30 because about time you get your speed up you're going around a sharp curve and very steep downgrades steep upgrades however you want to call it yeah it took me almost two hours to complete 50 miles but
me see if I can go ahead and find me a prime trailer. Uh, that's got a seal on it. I was gonna go ahead and try to find me one. I was gonna check the back while I'm back here and go ahead and put my lock on it. Uh, we'll just ride around. finally done this has been a long four to five days with this load glad it's over with thank y'all for watching like leave a comment subscribe and i do have a pre-planning y'all i'm going to jersey city like literally right there by the statue of liberty 